My name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual. As a targeted individual, I suffer from continued and repeated harassment and attacks through the use of electromagnetic, microwave, scalar, or some sophisticated technological weapons. I've been exposed to nanotechnology, um, genetic manipulation through uh, a man-made genetically modified organism as a nano-assembling superbug that they call Morgellons. The reason I'm making this video is I recently got a comment on another video saying that they, this person just didn't know what was wrong with me and and that I have to give my life to Christ and that my problems would be nothing as I if I walk hand in hand with the Lord and you know this comment and the others like it touch me you know and I have to ask you know, what am I doing, you know, what, I'm praying all the time for myself and for others, for the people that are killing me, for all the people who are suffering in the world, I am asking God for strength and compassion and patience and health and, you know, my daily bread, a roof over my head, and to help me to be able to do these things despite my declining, rapidly declining physical health and somewhat declining mental status. Um, I have seen God work miracles in my life answer prayers right then and there merciful God you know and uh, you know like Job how can I possibly understand the motives or requirements of the creator of the universe when it comes to my tiny little existence, I cannot possibly fathom this. However, my being a human being has certain requirements mentally where I find it necessary to accept things and in order to accept things, I need to have some understanding of them. Uh, it's difficult for us to accept things as they are. And that may well be because I'm in the Western culture where I'm programmed from the moment I'm born, every waking moment to believe in this reductionist, satanic science of, of you know, doesn't exist if you can't touch it and blah 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 even that's changing with the quantum whatever but uh, I, I get down on my knees and beg the Lord for forgiveness for many every you know I, I relive every thing that I've ever done that could possibly be offensive and sinful and ask for forgiveness sincerely from my heart and and I ask the Lord I tell God look there's no way that I can do this myself without your help and guidance and love and uh, you know whatever it is I can't even explain it I'm lost, and I'm working on issues 
of the way I feel about speaking up for Yahshua, my Savior, and for God and my beliefs, and not feeling ashamed or embarrassed because I believe a certain thing, whether it's true or not. And, you know, I don't push myself on, on well, besides YouTube, I don't push my beliefs on people. I don't force you to accept what I say. You take it and leave it. It's just me, it's my opinion, my experience, and my emotions. You know, if God has you by the hand and is showing you a wonderful life, God bless you, thank you, that's wonderful, I'm happy for you. But in my case, I find it difficult at times, oh, excuse me, to accept the reality that people have chosen to destroy my existence, my work, my job, my friendships, my relationships, my ability to function in the world, and have exposed me to such dramatic, dangerous, excessive, and harmful drugs, irradiation, insects, creatures, genetic manipulation, and psychological counterintelligence programs, along with, you know, continual subliminal hypnosis through this new technology that most people don't want to believe exists because they saw it in a movie and they don't really know much about physics and science and the human brain and body and nervous system or about what nanotechnology can actually do. Um, God blessed me with a, a high intelligence in certain areas and deficits in others. And I have been able to, uh, not just an intelligence, but an intuitive understanding of certain things. And I have been able to use this understanding to look at, examine, and uh, come to a reasonable uh, supposition based on peer-reviewed scientific fact, patents, and people's experience as to what types of things are required to affect the effects that I and thousands of others are reporting. And, uh, I don't know, you know, these comments, and the other comment, that what the one that bothered me, was some guy who was really nice at one minute wrote me back something saying that that he finally discovered who I really am and that I should have numbers written across my chest and that uh, something, I don't know, basically, you know, and that's not the first time. I mean, you see this all the time. I get this all the time from people, from fellow targeted individuals who are under this spell, being drugged and, and constantly kept hyper-vigilant because they're being harassed and, you know, being made unstable and being bombarded with information and radiation and, and frequencies of microwaves to affect their emotional states. And it's not too hard to turn people against one another. Just lie to them a bunch. Scare them. You know, you see it every day on the news. Um, you know, I don't know what kind of a horrible person I am. I admit I've done some things in my life that I'm not proud of. I've done some foolish things. I've done some stupid things. And, and many of them were directly or indirectly related to the fact that I have been chosen as a victim for human experimentation in some sort of trauma-based mind control program that has gone on since I was born. That's the only real conclusion I can come up with. 
you know. So how much of it is my fault? Well, you know, I didn't figure it out fast enough. Uh, you can't blame a child for the abuse that an adult heaps on them. You know, now, as far as who is doing this and why and what, you know, that's a huge question that that is so full of misinformation that I can only surmise and suppose certain things. Uh, and, you know, if they're true, God help us all. And if I'm just crazy, then, you know, business as usual. But, uh... I, I, I have deep theological questions, as would any person who is spiritually aware and realizes that they're facing death. Uh, I try to live my life being honest because I don't like to lie. I don't like to misrepresent and I don't like to have to sin. I don't want to have to answer for this shit. You know? Um, I guess that's what I really wanted to say. And, uh, I I'm sorry, I've been suffering from extreme migraine headaches and nausea, which is a common theme, uh, I'm facing a court eviction. Well, that was another comment that, that somebody said, oh, you're not paying any rent and you're being evicted, of course. What are you, a stupid idiot? Yeah, well, there's more to the story, and uh, they won't accept the rent because they're clearing the building, and there's rent-stabilized and rent-controlled people living in here, and they're either frightening them, abusing them, harassing them till they leave, or paying them off, or whatever they can do to get them out of here because there is a race, uh, there's a sponsored push to turn this neighborhood into the next Soho or whatever, and all these people, uh, well-off white people, I don't know where they're coming from, out of town maybe, whatever, or people with way more money than I have, who can afford four times the rent. The rents used to be $800 in this neighborhood. They went up to about 1000 or 1100 you know? Uh, the guys downstairs were paying 1500 We were willing to give them that, and we had two roommates lined up. These people did not want our money. They want us out. And we've been looking for a place, looking for a place, you know? And they've been harassing us. They had me arrested on false charges. They, they, they had a horrible plan for us, and, you know, thank God that, that it didn't turn out the way they wanted it to. Thank the Lord. I, I'm, uh, you know, I'm so grateful. That's the thing. You know, I complain all the time because I'm being tortured. And when I remember to say, thank you, God, I do it every night, every day, every, you know, thank you for this moment, this opportunity to speak, this breath, the fact that I can wipe my own ass still, you know, that I'm competent enough to walk to where I have to go and remember how to get back, you know, that even though I'm being evicted uh, constructively, um, a partial uh, constructive eviction, uh, and being called a squatter, even though I was an undertenant, you know. I, I, listen, these people broke the law eight ways to Sunday, and uh, all we did was try to figure out what they were doing to us, find a new place to live, and, and then they tied us up in their in, in their insanity for months and cost us thousands of dollars that we don't have. We're on a very tight budget. Thank, you know, thank God. Thank God for the generosity of people who, who understand how horrible this is. You know, but listen, I, I don't understand it. If God wants to destroy me completely 
and and you know smite me to the dust then that's his choice and I'll be grateful for it once I get over the suffering thanks for watching god bless you